Hi there everyone. We'd like to show you some new observations. We're going from the micro to the macro. The valley we live in is very flat and there isn't much topography or housing to block our view into the distance from our land. So we've decided to make some observations from a bit higher above the surface than we usually do. This time we're viewing from just under six feet from the ground. We'll demonstrate how the same upward refraction effect that we consistently witness with our small scale observations also occurs on a larger scale. We're viewing a highway that is approximately two miles away from our location and we'll use a few objects as reference points for these observations. Here is an evening when the light from the distant objects we're focusing on arrives to the viewer in full. We used a stake to mark the spot to view from day after day. As the sun was setting, the air temperature and surface temperature began to even out. There is approximately four degrees of difference in the air and surface temperatures on this evening. We'll use a distant camper and another building as reference points as well. The highway passes between these two points. Notice how we're able to see land beyond the distant building and tree. During the day, however, the view is much different. The tree and building appear sunken into the apparent horizon. This effect is present throughout the day, day after day. In the early morning, before 8 o'clock, around noon and in the late afternoon after five. The only time we're able to view the distant objects in full is just before sunrise and just after sunset, when the surface and air temperatures are somewhat evened out. Notice how on this evening, the horizon appears well beyond this car as it drives by. During the day, however, we're only able to see the tops of cars passing by. Here are a couple of vehicles passing by the building around sunset.
and here is a larger vehicle passing by the building during the day. Notice how far beyond this RV the land appears on this evening. The next day, you can barely see the vehicles passing by the same location. Here's an evening with the truck passing by these objects. And here's the same viewpoint during the day. Here are some semis that are partially obstructed from view during the morning. Around noon. and in the late afternoon. And here's a semi passing through one evening right around sunset. Here's another daytime semi that's traveling the same route as the semi from the previous clip. Last, we'll show you some footage from an evening when, as the sun set and the air and surface temperatures continued to even out, the light from the distant land and objects was able to travel further than it's able to during the day, and the apparent horizon continued to recede. Thanks for watching. More observations coming soon.